Melissa, obviously, and today, as June is coming to an end, I'm here to film my June favorites. What the heck? Like, this month has gone by so quickly, it's kind of sad because that means summer is that much closer to being over and I... I don't want that to happen. So today I'm gonna to be covering for you guys um, what I did in the last video, which will be games I'm playing this month, products I've gotten, liked, and I recommend to you guys, um, any new game or merchandise, basically, and also some gamer hype of just kind of what's been going on in the gaming industry and the gaming world. Also, um, if you guys see, I'm kind of in a different setup of where I'm filming. I have my Xbox One kind of on, and the home screen in the background with all of my gaming setup sitting right here. Make sure to give this video a like if you'd like to see a video of my gaming setup. So, without further ado, let's just jump right into my monthly favorites. So, starting off, I'm going to show you guys the games I've been playing this month. Starting off, it would have to be Call of Duty Ghosts, and if you guys have been watching my videos for a while and followed me for a while. First, I... You know, at first, I absolutely hated this game. I thought the maps were too big, you get squad points randomly, you know, there weren't really that many good guns compared to Black Ops 2. It was just a total mess of a game, and it was just, I thought it was absolutely horrible, horrible game. But I never sold it because I thought, hey, you know, I'm probably, I don't want to sell it. I'm not going to get that much money for it. I might as well keep it. So I did. So I've been playing this game a lot lately just because, you know, I still feel the same way that the maps are too big and, you know, the squad points are all weird. My, my opinion on it is still the same. I just play it a lot now and I don't really understand why. It's just, I really like my Xbox One and it's just a game that I can, like, continue playing my Xbox One. Second game of this month that I've been obsessed with is Mario Kart 8. And for those of you who have a Wii U, um, I'm assuming you bought this game. You'd be kind of crazy not to. This game is so awesome. It's so great. You can do the car customization with bikes and cars. And all the maps are really great. The old ones that they revamped and the new ones that they've created just for this game. I recommend you go like check out my gameplay and my dubstep speed race on this game just to kind of see it. It's really great. The graphics, everything about it, I have absolutely no complaints. Nintendo did a great job. Also, for games this month, I if you guys follow my Instagram and you saw this post, you probably noticed that I did decide to pick up Watch Dogs. And you're probably wondering, Lissa, why is that not in one of your favorite games of the month? Well, I actually decided to return Watch Dogs. Reason being, it wasn't a bad game. I know a lot of people really love it or a lot of people really hate it. And my opinion on it is it wasn't a bad game at all. I just personally wasn't that into it. It wasn't that entertaining to me. It didn't really, didn't necessarily grab me. I decided to save the money and put it towards some of the new games that are coming out that I feel are must-haves rather than spending the money on a game that's okay. Moving on to gamer gear. All right, so this is the section of my monthly favorites video when I kind of show you guys gaming related products. First thing all, I have a new sponsor called Gamer Action Wear. Um, it's run by this guy named Emmanuel. He's super awesome. They're a great company. I'll have their website linked down below. Their Instagram is at Gamer Action Wear. I'll have it right here. If I honestly, if I wasn't sponsored by them, I would have bought stuff off of their website with my own money. And they also recently got some Nintendo merchandise which I'm kind of like dying over so make sure to check that out as well. So I got to choose three different items from their shop and I'm going to show you guys what I chose. So the first thing I got was a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare tee which I really like. I think it's you know super awesome. It's kind of wet right now. I apologize. I just washed it and I didn't want to wait for it to dry. I wanted to film this video so yeah it's a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare tee. I'm also super excited for this game. The second thing I got was this tight Titanfall t-shirt. It's the Titanfall Atlas and I really like it because I love the game Titanfall. So here's, you know, Titanfall, Titanfall, whatever. Here's the tit and then it says Titanfall right there. I got a size medium in both shirts because I like mine baggier. That's just me. And the third item I got was this Black Ops 2 hoodie. I really like that game, so I chose a black Call of Duty Black Ops 2 hoodie, and they were so nice that they decided to customize the arm of the sweatshirt to say Fatal Female without me even asking, you know, they just threw that in as a really nice surprise, and that just kind of shows you right now, they're a really loving and giving company, also on their Instagram they have giveaways every month just to followers, just because you guys are so awesome. Um, another product I got sent to me was G Fuel, I don't know if you guys can see it, kind of the glare right now, Gamer Labs was nice enough to send me 
a tub of blue ice, but this stuff, like I'm not even kidding, it actually helps you gain. And a lot of people talk about this, a lot of MLG players use it. It has a lot of hype in the gaming world, and just honestly, from person to person, I'm here to tell you right now that it really does improve your game. You don't want to drink too much, like don't have more than two water bottles full of this stuff. That's too much, alright? Let me tell you right now. So, my third part of this monthly favorites video is going to be some kind of hype and discussions throughout the gaming world. So, we all know, I'm hoping we all know, that E3 happened this June. E3 happened just a couple weeks ago. Oh my goodness, the amount of games they have coming, especially in October, is kind of overwhelming. Like, bro, how am I gonna get the money to get all these? Like, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. I watched the Nintendo presentation and the Microsoft presentation from start to finish. I did not watch Sony's just because I don't have a PS4 and I'm not exactly planning on getting one anytime soon. But from what I saw from both presentations that I did watch was E3 this year was kind of, I don't want to say low key, um, but it wasn't as spectacular as it was last year. This year they just kind of showcased a lot of games that we've already heard of, that have already been released, but they just gave us extended trailers. The majority of games. Yes, there were some new releases, of course, but the majority of games they did show, we already knew about, and they just showed us kind of extended previews. But, I mean, just personally me, uh, games I'm most excited to get, Far Cry 4, GT5 on Xbox One, we got Destiny, Halo Master Chief Collection, Super Smash Bros, Sunset Overdrive, and there are so many more, but those are the six I'm like totally 110% getting. So make sure to leave a comment down below of all the games that you're most excited for from E3 and the ones that you're totally planning on getting. I wanted to thank you guys so, so much for watching my favorites video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Like this video if you want to see a tour of my gaming setup. And comment down below what games you are most excited for from E3. Alright guys, thank you!